Welcome everybody to this video. In this video, we're gonna go over the basic controls of your Ruida controller. Uh, we're also gonna do a start to finish project using just the interface of the Ruida controller. So let's go ahead uh, and dive right in. So you may notice that the Ruida controller that I have may be different from yours. This one's a little bit of an older one since I've had this machine for a while, but the newer ones have the same basic controls. So this should help you out with your Ruida controller as well. The most obvious function on your Ruida controller is going to be your directional pad. This will jog your laser head back and forth or side to side. In the center of that D-pad will be your menu button. Through the menu button you can access controls uh, such as some factory settings that you could reset. You can do your IP configuration. Um, you could also, you know, do a couple more features basically, but most of the things you don't normally have to change. So we're just going to go ahead and exit out of that menu and go back to some other controls. The next function I want to show you is the origin function. So first thing you want to do to set your origin is move it to the location of where you want it to be. And for this example, I'm going to move the head in a different direction. And then when the origin is set and you press escape, what happens is the laser head will travel back to where you set your origin. The next function would be frame and frame basically will outline where your design is going to be placed and generally it's going to be right around where you set your origin so they kind of work together on that one the next ones i'm going to show you is the max power which will be at the top right hand corner of your display on the ruida um, in that same location you're going to find your min power as well as your speed and then the pulse is going to actually have the ruida controller tell your laser to just send a test pulse basically in the location that it's at so you can see um, exactly where it's going to lay down so uh, one way to get started with your Ruida controller, if you wanted to start with a file, is to send it down using Lightburn. Um, it's going to send down the file using the exact settings you place it at, so make sure you go over your layer settings. That includes your engraving speed and power, as well as cut speed and power. You want to make sure that you also set it to either current position or user origin. And then after you have that selected, go ahead and click the send button. It'll ask you to name your file, and once it's named, you can send it there and it'll save to your controller. You can also use a USB drive to do the same exact thing. It's located on your machine and you can just upload it there. So after you have your files uh, imported into your Ruida controller using one of those two methods, uh, go ahead and go back to your display board. And using that interface, you can select the file button. Uh, once you select your file, you'll notice there are some options on the right hand side you can take a look at. For this one, I'll show you the work time. Um, and it'll give you an estimate of how long your file will take to produce. So uh, that's just one example to show you. I'm going to go ahead and escape out of here, but I'm going to keep that file selected. And then we're going to go ahead and start to finish this project. So for this one, I just did something simple, Ruida Rocks. Um, it's going to be just a quick little cutout in a circle. You'll see that attached to that file will be my engrave setting in black and then my cut line um, in red right after that. And so that's the way I had it set up. Uh, when I imported that file. So just to demonstrate the origin and frame function again, I went ahead and set my origin right there, and then I hit the frame button and it shows you exactly how big your file is gonna be on your laser bed. So let's go ahead and let's load some material up. Um, and what we'll do is after you get the wood loaded in there, you wanna make sure that you set your focal distance. Um, so I'm gonna jog the laser head over my substrate, this uh, eighth inch birch ply that I have here. And then I'm gonna use, I have a AAA battery, which happens to be the correct focal distance. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that under the laser head and make some adjustments to make sure that I have the proper uh, focal distance. And then once that is set, you'll see it just slides right in there. Once I have that set, I'm ready to start my engraving. Um, but before that, let's go ahead and make sure it's in the right location with the frame function. So now that I have my file selected, Ruida Rocks, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the frame function. So let's press that right there. Oh, and you'll notice that it goes back to the origin I had selected before. So let's show you, uh, this is the perfect example to show you how to select a new origin. So I'm gonna jog it back to the location that I want. I'm gonna select origin again, and then now I'll frame it and it's in the location that I want it to be. So now that it fits on the substrate, uh, let's go ahead and start the file. So 
So now that the file is done being run, I'm going to go ahead and use that Ruida controller to jog the head out of the way. And then once the head is out of the way of the substrate, I'm going to go ahead and lift that lid up and pull that piece out. Um, you'll see that the settings that I chose for it are pretty awesome. Uh, it has a very accurate statement of Ruida rocks um, and it looks good. So those are your basic functions using the Ruida controller. Um, there's not a lot to it, but it's always nice to get familiar with your interface. Um, Ruida controller is responsible for communicating with your entire laser. It is the brains of the operation, so it's also uh, really important to get to know this interface very well. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to please let us know down below in the comments. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it.